All right, this video is to uh, answer a few questions that pop up from time to time on how to get a collector's mask. And here we've got a soldier, gorilla soldier collector's mask to fit better for people that don't have fat heads like mine. Uh, you sometimes email us asking how to tighten the fit up. So what we're suggesting is to use a piece of foam, sheet foam or cushion foam, we prefer to use charcoal ester foam because it's a sturdier foam than your regular off-white yellow cushion foam. So this is a chunk of half inch uh, charcoal ester foam, maybe two inches wide, and uh, I forget 12 inches long, 10 inches long. And we've, we're actually, for this demonstration, we're using two-sided top stick toupee tape on it but we've done it before with scotch two-sided tape uh the scotch foam tape two-sided foam tape is good like a picture framing tape i think is that and here's an example of a professional lace um, toupee tape as well so all of those work for this type of thing and the reason why you'd want to tape it in instead of glue it in is that might get pretty funky after a few conventions or a few cosplay events and you want to take it out and either replace it or clean it and dry it and put it back in. Here's a, this is something else that we had just laying around. This is like a door insulation tape. It already has adhesive tape on one side of it and then the foam insulation thing. This one's like a quarter inch uh, section, but this type of foam, again, it's a charcoal ester foam, but it's a lot softer than the stuff that you could get from Joann's or Michael's or even Amazon for that matter. Customers in Europe and the UK, I'm not sure what you would call this type of foam, but here in the States, it's referred to as charcoal ester foam and we can get it on the Amazon, Joann's Crafts or Michael's uh, Hobbies and maybe even Hobby Lobby for that matter, as well as upholstery supply centers will have sheet foam like that charcoal ester foam so there are your uh double-sided tape options to stick it together again for this demonstration we're using the top stick toupee tape eric's going to try the mask on first without it to show you the fit on his head and so he's got it on right now it looks great but if he moves his head it's going to shift a little bit and now I can't see his eyes. So he's going to put this half uh, or this section across the back of the head, basically the back from ear to ear. So that's where he's going to do it. So it's a horizontally straight across the inside back of the mask behind his head, not on top of his head. Um, and what this positioning does, not only does it pick up the, the slop or the slack of the fit, but it'll put that piece of foam will push it against his eyes. So it'll tighten up the fit and it tightens it up in the way that you want it to tighten up. So. Now, when he moves his head side to side, the mask moves with his head. It also seems to be fitting a lot tighter against his eye socket. And I would think if I was customer Eric, I would come in and maybe trim a little bit more out of this corner of this eye socket because they're all trimmed differently when they're made because it seems to be pinching a little bit there. But uh, the, and the other one fits fine. And how's that? tightness is it uncomfortable or no it's a little it's uh right on the eye uh, lid uh so it could if it's it could be a little too tight so you may want to loosen up a little bit in here so it doesn't just irritate your your upper eyelids uh, but other than that it fits a lot better and not moving down onto my eye to blind me yeah, it certainly seems to be st st staying put. And then when you go side to side, it stays with you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, then the next 
step would be once you've adjusted the fit by opening your eye holes a little bit more or whatever then it's just using your eye makeup to match the color of the the skin your skin color to the color of the mask and if it's a a, a snug fit it you might even almost be seamless which is kind of cool and there again it's a simple simple quick fix just using sheet foam to pad the back of the mask you, you don't want to pad the top necessarily because number one it'll plug all the vent holes up there but that's not that's not going to do the job as far as tightening it up against your eyes so you want to pad the back of the mask and that'll tighten the fit up against your eyes and in the case of this example with eric the fact that that horseshoe goes from ear to ear around the back of the head it keeps the side to side in place too so it um, you don't think you would need any more padding like on your temples or anything, Eric, to prevent no, this not, shifting? Not for, not for my head. Uh, if you have a, a, a lot of hair, that should keep it tight against your temples. But if you have a short haircut um, and a smaller head, you may want to pad the temples so it doesn't do a little rocking number. Uh, I, I had done this before with the temples padded. And it was a little tight on my head, so I cut it shorter, uh, and this is perfect. And was that with half-inch foam? It was a half-inch foam. Okay. So. Uh, but right now, it's it's sitting perfectly on my head. Cool. All right, you can, and you can get those foam densities, or the, the foam in different thicknesses, too. We just chose half-inch because it was in stock and readily available here in stock. But we could have also used quarter-inch foam and adjusted it too so you know if you get quarter inch phone you can always stack it up to be the correct thickness but it seemed like half inch was fine for what we're trying to do and eric's six foot two yeah so average average size guy for a six foot two guy um and a little bit of padding helped him but like if i put this mask on it'll fit me tight because i like i said have a fat head so anyway there you go quick little video on how to make your fit better again we've got your different uh, tape options there and again the the sheet foam was half inch charcoal ester foam and you can get that stuff on amazon uh, michael's joann's upholstery shops and it, depending on what city or state you live in you might even have a foam supply shops where you can buy it as well so there you go.